healthcare providers oftentimes are exposed to sharps related injuries. Sharps related injuries can really ruin your day and really kind of give you a hit in the in, in, inside your stomach. Whenever you have a sharps related injury, the first thing to do is to decontaminate and to wash your hands with soap and water. Stop whatever you're doing immediately and decontaminate. It helps reduce any risk of any sort of infection. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you report it through the appropriate pathway. You can call the PEP, or the Post-Exposure Prophylaxis Hotline, or report it to your supervisor and they should be able to have a pathway to make sure that you receive the appropriate treatment. If you're stuck with a needle and a source patient is HIV positive, your risk is up to three in a thousand to transmit and to get HIV. We minimize that risk by taking what's called post-exposure prophylaxis. Now, these drugs that used to have a lot of side effects have gotten a lot safer and even offer convenient once daily dosing. But they only work if you take them and you take them quick. So make sure after your exposure, if it's a high risk HIV positive source patient, that you take your post-exposure prophylaxis within two hours. Now, regarding hepatitis B or hepatitis C, make sure you take your hepatitis B vaccines and stay up to date and know your antibody titer. Hepatitis C, unfortunately, there is no current recommendations for post-exposure prophylaxis, but we do know that early treatment can be curative for hepatitis C. The most important thing, though, with any needle stick exposure is to prevent them. So by avoiding recapping needles, always telling your colleagues where you are with your sharps, and following all the safety protocols is the best way to prevent any sort of injury. Thank you.